and gentlemen, welcome back to Get Cookie with Fabio. And today, because we're close to Halloween, I'm gonna give you a special dish, a squash. We're gonna make a squash with this is a hot, this is a really butter, uh, a butter squash, and it's nice and sweet. And we're gonna make it with pasta. You be like, this guy is crazy, make everything with pasta. Yes, baby, I am. <laughs> so let's get cooking with Fabio. Mwah! And now let's go over the recipe real quick, okay? This guy, like, do you guys like this guy? Look at that. I just drew myself. Do you like it? <laughs> it's funny. Boo! <laughs> Okay, so let's go over the quantity real quick. So I cut it already. There was about three and a half pound of uh, nice squash. I cut it thin, hopefully thinner than this. Um, see the pieces. Um, I don't know how much it is without skin. Maybe three, three pounds now. But um, you know, there was all weight was about three and a half. Then I'm gonna use one of these bad guys as a dry red pepper. Um, then uh, about 15 ounces of pasta. I like this pasta because it's gonna, uh, it's gonna catch all the, the zucca later. I mean the squash. Um, we have about uh, almost three, um, a quarter of uh, onions thin cut, okay? And as usually we have uh, olive oil, salt, and fresh cracked pepper, baby. Um, so, and then personally, don't forget the personally, I'm gonna use maybe two or three of these guys. Um, oops. <laughs> uh, oh, and then I saved the, the <coughs> I saved the, um, I saved the, um, the seeds. I'm gonna clean it up, put uh, some salt on it, olive oil, and uh, co um, cook it in the oven. Uh, but this is not part of the recipe, you know. So let's get cooking! Okay, so this process is gonna take about 30 minutes, okay? So I have the, the squash here ready. We're gonna start with olive oil. Uh, I wanna just cover all the, the bottom part. We may need to add a little olive oil later. But we're gonna start with hot olive oil and and um onions i'm gonna let it fry for a little bit see the onion is getting nice and all blonde so when it gets blonde it's almost ready then it's time for the squash Woo baby get it there so now we gotta wait a little bit we may have to add a little water if it's too dry but what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna head to one of the bad guys. Let's break it in there. Boom! boom. <laughs> and personally, as I said, by uh, two, three of them, uh, this, this is gonna take about 20, 30 minutes at least, okay? So let's keep an eye on it. Uh, as I said, you may have to, to add a little water. And let's see how it comes. Okay, this is about a 15 20 minutes after see you can see all the um, when, So when the squash starts to get uh, soft what I do with the spoon I just uh, Turn it toward it and try to break the piece apart. Okay, uh, let's put some salt. It's kind of sweet so you put a little salt in here and um, let, let's make, keep mixing it. I had about a cup of water so far, okay? The flame medium, not too hot. And this is the time that you wanna start the water too, okay? And let's keep cooking. Look how nice it is. See this, look at that. It's creamy and it smells so good. And I have a little trick for you guys. I kinda trick you a little. This is one, because this is one of the main ingredients and it's gonna make everything taste better and nobody knows it because it's mine! So what I'm gonna do, it's a quarter pound of cheese. Little aged cheese, they call Asiago. I just call aged cheese in little pieces and you throw it in there and you mix it a little bit until it gets creamy and melty. And this time for the pasta, so we can, boom, baby, throw it in there and keep cooking. Okay, so everything is ready. Let's drain the water real quick. Throw the pasta in here. Woo! 
Turn these off. And mix these a little, little real quick. I mix it just like everything else in you know, my plate. Pasta has to mix with the squash, with zucca, and get all the flavor inside. Let's go ahead, bring these over. Look how beautiful it is. Just, just like that. Right? And one, two, baby. Let's do it. Then we have Parmesan cheese. Right? Don't forget about that. We have a little bit of parsley on the top. And don't forget cracked pepper. Okay, so this is Fabio Zucca with pasta. And it's a beautiful uh, uh, Halloween dish for you guys. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. Let me know if you have any question or anything. Subscribe please. So we're gonna be more and more videos. And buon appetito. Mwah! Boo! <laughs>